After months of speculation plus anticipation, Bachman Trains has delivered its highly detailed outside frame K27 Mikado. It appears that they've pulled out all the stops in designing, producing, and bringing to market this outstanding locomotive. The list of features of the new K27 goes on for pages and pages inside the detailed manual about this train. All Bachman units are expertly packed so that when you receive it, they're in excellent condition. And always there's a bag of goodies that you can detail your engine, as well as two figures. some hook and loop couplers, some smoke fluid, and some heavy metal couplers. This unit has many mechanical features. It has a fully equalized locomotive suspension as on the prototype, including individually sprung drivers, trailing truck, and a floating gearbox. It has a completely die-cast frame and chassis and a custom-built 19.1 volt motor with ball bearings and brass machined flywheel. All gears are made out of brass to ensure durability and it has double lead stainless steel worm with thrust bearing to provide superior durability and eliminate locomotive surge. It's designed for operation on 8 foot or greater diameter track. The unit has numerous features, including a snowplow and doghouse on selected models, bronze pop valves, bell, and whistle. It has numerous die cast parts, including operating piston valves and side rods, dual air pumps, and generator, including a flickering firebox that we'll look at later. The windows slide as well as a piece that folds out to protect your engineer. There are three different types of tender bodies available. The one that you receive will depend upon the specific K27 variation that you order. The inside of the cab is very detailed. You can even read the gauges if you get close enough. Attaching the tender to the engine involves putting a peg in a hole and attaching two connectors. There are different sizes. The one goes on the left is the larger one. There's a smaller one that goes on the right. And then you need to take the bar and attach the peg into the hole. The more times you do it, the better you'll get at it. The electronics are in the back of the tender. You pull open the coal door and remove the coal load and then you'll be able to see switches and a board that you can replace and install your specific remote control and sound product. There is current limited constant lighting for a directional activated front and rear headlights, an operating smoke unit, an operating classification lights, as well as an operating firebox flicker and an operating cab light. The key to continued optimum performance of your K27 is regularly scheduled maintenance. Make sure you watch the enclosed DVD and read the manual. 
Your K27 gearbox was lubricated at the factory, however, you need to lubricate before the first time you run. Failure to do this could cause damage to your locomotive, so please follow the lubrication procedure carefully. Let's take a look and see how the K27 runs. One of the best parts of being a subscriber to LSOL.com is that right now online we have a 23 page article with full details about the K27 including photos inside the boiler at the electronics. So if you're not a member of LSOL.com we invite you to come to www.lsol.com and look for more videos of the K27 running in our Garden Railroad as well as others.